high. Did you know that you can detect Newcastle in poultry in its earlier stages before it has caused damage to your flock? Watch until the end to find out how it's done. Newcastle is a highly contagious disease that affects birds and caused by a paramaxovirus. It has no cure and no specific treatment has been identified to treat Newcastle. However, antibiotics can be given to the birds for three to five days to manage the infections and secondary bacteria infections. The question is, however, how do you know that your chickens have developed Newcastle? By the way, do not forget to subscribe and hit that like button so as you don't miss any important content. There are the signs you should look out within your flock. Number one, brown, runny and watery droppings is the first sign that your chickens may actually be developing diseases and that may also be Newcastle. However, if you later notice watery white and greenish droppings, then you must have a reason to worry more. Number two, loss of weight in chicken due to loss or limited appetite. Number three, difficulty in breathing. If you notice that your birds are gasping for air, then suspect Newcastle. Number four, coughing and making of funny noises among your chickens, especially when they are resting. Coiled and isolated chicken from the rest of the flock, as well as inactivity, is a sign that your birds may be sick and needs immediate attention. Other signs to look out for include sneezing, nozzle discharge, depression, sudden death without no reason, dropping wings, swelling of the tissues around the muscular tremors, complete paralysis, among others. If you have successfully identified all these signs from a particular chicken, immediately isolate it from the rest of the flock so that you manage the disease and provide all of them with supportive medication, preferably the antibiotics. However, the best time to identify a sick chicken is when you are feeding them and at night when they are resting. During day while chickens are active, it's actually not easy to identify a sick bird unless when it is severely sick. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative tips and solutions.